Yeah, it's uh getting better. I know first couple of days is really frustrating just because it's an ankle. You know, it's really sore. It was swollen, but um, it's been a process of me just getting back. Um, I'm almost there, so that's a good thing. I've been taking care of my body a little bit. I think it's just been up to me being more vocal. Um, leading by example is just is not just one thing that a leader does. Um, it's not what we do here. So I've been pushed to become more vocal and um, you know, just hold people accountable. So it's been good for me so far. Yeah, I think we've grown a lot, especially the past couple months with with uh, Kyron being gone. Um, I think we understood that everyone had to step up a little bit, and um, now we're at the point where like no matter who's in, who's in, no matter what the situation is, I think we're all we're we're uh, all going to be good to get the job done. So it's been good for us. Yeah, I think his standard is something that is based off of one competitiveness. Um, no matter what we're doing, we're always competing against each other. I mean, it's crazy, but um. One, one one big thing is competitiveness. I think another thing is just looking out for, for uh, your brothers, for people next to you. So it's been good for us. Yeah. yeah, it's been really good so far. I feel like he's done a really good job of picking it up so fast. I mean, he just got here a couple months ago and he's already getting getting reps with the ones and playing really fast. So um, I think it just came down to him being competitive um, and withholding the standard like everyone else. So No, I don't think so. I think honestly, being out and not getting reps has helped me a lot just because one I'm not getting reps and I can't just lead by example so I had to find a way to to stay in, in that leadership role and um you know being vocal and holding people accountable has, has been a few of those things so honestly it's been pretty easy for me because I'm not getting reps but, um just because you know we're not in season and spring ball I haven't really pushed this too much so we're trying to stay safe and uh, make sure that I'm fully healthy before I get back um, I focus on she's just getting better every day because there's a lot of a lot I can learn and I feel like we've been getting better and I just want to push my teammates, push for all the running backs and just push each other to get better to reach our optimate goal, which is a national championship. I just learned that you got to every day is a new day. You got to bring it every day. You can't just go hard this day and take the next day off because college is college. Everyone's bringing it. Everyone has a goal. Everyone wants to make it to the next level. And if you want to make it to the next level too, you just got to give 100 percent every day. And not just on the football field, but it's in a weight room, in the classroom, in the meetings room, and whatever you're doing, just gotta give 100%. Uh, my goal, honestly, is just get better in all areas, route running, be more patient, class blocking. And I just, my ultimate goal is just honestly to be more, to know the game of football, understand it more, and just take my knowledge of the game to the next level. Uh, it's been pretty, it's been a smooth, smooth transition. And just, cause Dion, he's a, he's a great guy. He's a people person, cause Dion knows what he's talking about. And I just, I just trust him and just, I trust that he knows what he's doing. And I just feel like if I follow what he's doing, he'll help us be successful. We're, we're all brothers in there. We're all tight knit group. We all know what our ultimate, ultimate goal is. And we're just all here to make each other better. And even on like, even when that has nothing to do with on the weekends, we're all hanging out together. We're all, it's brotherhood. It was just all, all brothers and we're all here for each other. Uh, I think it's been good. It's been pretty smooth. Like we all, we all, uh, me and Diggs been here for one year and Chris been here for two years so I feel like we kind of have some experience now and we all kind of have the same mindset it just go now attack we all know what we're doing we all know what the job is now it's time just to execute a uh, big thing I'll point out is the weather but uh you know coming in right in the middle of dead winter so that was a challenge but um the transition's been uh interesting and fun and I'm, I'm glad I did it you know coming in early as early early so uh, it's been a fun experience I'm getting faster and stronger myself, but uh, obviously it takes time to get used to the game. And another thing is, you know, pass protection, uh, a part of my game that I think I need to work on. So, yeah, Coach, uh, Coach Picola knows a lot about the game. Uh, he spends time on it. And, you know, as a young guy, I respect that. And I, I look at that as someone to you know, watch and, and learn from because he, he's had, he's had experience at the, that position. So. Yeah, relationship-wise, they've, they've done a great job of bringing me in and a part of the running back family since summer when Chris was my, my host and uh, back in December on my other visit when Audrey was my host. So they, they've done a great job, and I've, I've uh, definitely instantly become comfortable around them. So. Yeah, uh, one thing is the schedule, uh, adjusting to the schedule has, has been a challenge. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm picking up on a routine, and – uh, just knowing, you know, what, when to eat, you know, how to eat good and things like that. So adjusting to those things.